Olá novos e seminovos, velhos e semivelhos, eu sou o Eric Risato e este é o canal O Som do Cassete. No vídeo de hoje você vai conferir uma entrevista exclusiva com Nick French, a rainha do Eurodance. Durante o bate-papo, Nick French falou sobre o seu novo single, Haunted Heart, sua carreira e, claro, sua relação com o Brasil. Mas antes, deixa seu like e também se inscreva no canal. Pera, 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 pera aí. Parou? Antes de começar a entrevista, acione a legenda, tá? Que tá aqui no YouTube. Todas as nossas entrevistas internacionais contêm legenda e dá bastante trabalho, tá? Então, acesse a legenda, pega sua pipoca e senta que lá vem história. O som do cacete! Boa tarde! God save the queen! <risos> Tudo bem! Tudo bem! Que português maravilhoso! No more. <laughs> I, I have, I, that is my extent of Portuguese. <laughs> uh, I feel shy from your English. Oh, no, no, English. no. Your English is much better than my Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Fine. Thank you for having me. Thank you for no, accepting. No, no, no. It's good. And you are with the brand new single you mm -hmm. release. Haunted Heart. And it was recorded during the pandemic time, before, or it's something new? Before. Uh, I, I record this song uh, one, year, one year ago. One year ago, I, I record the song. So before the pandemic, before COVID. Uh, so I, I recorded my vocals uh but the the final mixes were not ready until uh, probably the summer in the summer sort of june july uh we 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 had all the all the tracks ready so yes yeah, so so it's 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 been a long time in the making yes the music is perfect and your voice is perfect too you left me with a Is better than 19s, is something real, something oh. strong in your voice, and the me oh. melody is perfect too. Who oh, writes this, this, this song? <laughs> Three people, trace people. Um, so, uh, Gordon Pagoda, uh, Gloria Sklerov, and Michael Woodrum. Uh, they they are all from the United States of America, and uh, they all wrote it together i don't know who wrote what but uh yeah they they've done a good job it's, yes. a, it's a it's a really good song to sing i i love singing it um yeah, the chorus so I, if i if i return to brazil i i sing it for you i you sing will. it for everyone in brazil <laughs> we're waiting for you you <laughs> always visit Brazil, oh, you you been here for many. I many times. love Brazil, uh, many times, many times, uh, and and I miss you all so much. I, mm. I I would love to be back over there, but obviously not yet. We have to we have to clear our our world of of this uh, this horrible virus. Maybe next year we can. Let's hope. Uh, fingers crossed. Maybe. We can watch maybe. your concert. And do you maybe. remember the last time that you been in Brazil? Uh, I think um, three, maybe four years ago, I was oh. there. Um, and oh, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> It was a short, a short visit, but uh, but but great fun. And Gino, um, who uh, always organizes the band and the shows for me, he's based in São Paulo. Oh, and uh, who yeah, is Gino Neto? Uh, he works with W. Yes. So he is the guitarist for W. Ah, yes. And 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 he he always organizes everything in Brazil for me. Um, so I, I miss seeing him and the band and yeah, I, I, I 
I wish to come back. I wish to return. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you remember the last show that you did this year? Oh, gosh. No. Uh, so many, so many that, that they're, they're all in my brain. I cannot Ooh. remember which was the last show, actually. The concert stopped. Sadly, yes, in, in every country, yes. uh, in, in the United Kingdom, no shows. Uh, however, um, in December, I, I have some shows, hopefully, oh, we hope, good. we hope. We hope so. so. See, see. Uh, if, if, it's, if, if we can, we will, we will do the shows. So. Yes, and there's a Brazilian DJ in your new single, David yes. Harry. David Harry, see, uh, yes, I was so surprised when I was told uh, David Harry is from Brazil. I was like, oh, I did, I did not know. Yes, But yes he, he is Brazilian. on the CD. Yes, I, I yesterday I heard all all tracks, and it's perfect. It's a strong single, and a beautiful video was released too. <laughs> The video was recorded. Where, yeah. where, where the lo location of the video? The video um, in the the southwest of the, the of England, um, in in a, a place called the Forest of Dean. It's it's a, an area, and it was an empty house that my agent Matt. Um, Matt. Matt, who you've been speaking to, uh, he he managed to to locate the house for us, and he filmed it. He filmed it all. Uh, it is all down to him. Uh, the idea and everything. It was it was all his idea. He's and, a uh, he's a workaholic. Oh yeah. <laughs> shoot videos. Next next trip I make to Brazil, he comes with me. He, I he want to me. know him. And how long do you are working with Matt and this record label? Oh, well, Energize Records um I started working with in uh 1993 many years ago many years ago. and uh then uh in oh, in 2015 i i parted with them and i worked with mike stock again who um i had the big success with did you ever really love me and did you ever really love me is there anybody out there and Total Eclipse of the Heart. And Tiamo. All the songs. Um, and then in uh, 2017, I returned to Energize Records and I'm still with them. Um, Agent Matt, I first worked with Properly in around uh, 2016. He started working with me and it's just got better and better and more busy uh, every every year i am more busy and he gets me more shows and it's it's great we are great friends yes. and um, he works very 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 hard yes. for everybody for yeah. everybody thank you matt for this interview and we you talk about uh, did you ever really love me and all your big success. But before these tracks, uh, there's one that I didn't find anything about. Whisk and Sofa. <laughs> can, can tell me more about this? <laughs> what is, what is, is the, the style? It's a dance, it's a jazz band. Yes, uh, a song. 
a song called Dirty Den. Yes. yes about an actor in the in England um, on on a television show. Oh. Uh, it was written, and I I just sang the chorus um, with a fake voice. It was it was supposed to be one of the other characters in the program. Um, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look I for <laughs> I search for but I don't find anything about this. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You do you have do you I'm have great. this this, this record? <laughs> <laughs> do we have this one? No, it was awful. Oh no, terrible, yeah. terrible. It Ter was uh, it was a joke, a joke song, a joke yeah. song. Okay, yeah. it's not a, a big hit. <laughs> it's a joke song. Oh, no, no, no. No, it did not make a hit, no. Uh, and and uh, if you have this, one, this track sent to us to share a little bit, who knows? Do people know Nick French okay, before I Nick French? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I have that. I will look. I will look, look for you. Look, yes, please. <laughs> French Connection. See? Was one, two. Do you release it only on UK? Uh, see, um, yes. Now, what, uh, yes, I can't even remember. Uh, was it You'll Be Sorry? Was it You'll Be Sorry? Yes. No, not, yeah, yes. You'll Be Sorry. Uh, yeah, I... Yes, that was again before before Nikki French proper. Um, I I recorded um, a song in a studio, and they made a record. And Nick French came up with "Total Eclipse of a Heart." Right? That was that was when it properly started. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it was a huge success. Do you? Uh, when you record, do you think that it could be a huge success? What like was? Um, I I didn't really. The first time I recorded it was with Energize Records, and so I just sold sold the the disc at the vinyl disc at shows. Um, and when Mike Stock and Matt Aitken took it on that's when it became the worldwide success um and they changed the music they changed the lead vocal i i re-recorded the lead vocal and so, you it was not a dance a house oh track. yes it was yes it, it was, was. but um yeah and and i think once i was working with mike and matt it felt that something was going to happen um and and it just went mad you know as you as you all know it it uh, it, it just went so big everywhere in the world yes and and weirdly in other countries total eclipse of the heart is the biggest song for nikki french but in brazil it is other songs. It is yes. Did You Ever. It is uh, Is There Anybody Out There. It is. For me, the the better, the the music that I have, I put in my heart and never take off, uh, it's there anybody out there. For me, it's, the music has a strong meaning. The melody is perfect. Who wrote the song? That remember? again was um, Mike Stock and Matt Aitken. They they wrote it, uh, and it was from the first album, the Secrets album. Uh, and yeah, I was very lucky to get some wonderful songs from yes. that album. And it was it was very exciting. My very first show in Brazil was I think 1996 or 1995 um, I, I came over and I opened my show with is there anybody out there uh, I still I still open the show and I was standing at the side of the stage ready to come on stage and the band started and I'd never heard an audience sing the song with me before it was amazing it, it just that's what made me fall in love with Brazil. You know, I just, I love the people. And 
the way they sing the songs with me. I, I love that. And Bra Brazil loves you too. Oh, you know it. You. I don't know if you have a, a, access uh, from the streaming where your video is what is being watched. I don't know if you have which the, the country is more a fan of Nick Fresh, but we always listen your music. We always, the DJs always oh. play Nick French on the parties. And you know, oh, well, muito you... obrigada, because yes, um, see, Matt, Agent Matt, has looked before at the at the numbers around the world, and I know Brazil is is high up there in in viewing numbers, in listening numbers. So yeah, I, I it's wonderful that I still have a, a supportive audience over there. I, I love that. Yes, you've been Brazil for many, many I times. I love Brazil uh, many times, many times. How long, what the time you, do you used to stay uh, here when you're usually, doing concerts? So, uh, uh, usually two, maybe three weeks. Three weeks. I, I, I come over because most shows are sort of Friday, Saturday, sometimes yes. Sunday. So we try to get as many in those days as possible, sometimes a Thursday. But uh, yeah, so you can only do a certain number of, of, of shows in those days. So Gino will book me uh, in, in a block of usually two weeks, maybe three weeks, I, yeah. will, be, I will be over there. And this time, during this time in Brazil, do you prove food? Do you try food? Do you listen to music? Do you, what, what did you miss in Brazil? Miss of Brazil? I miss the fans. I miss the audiences. I miss working with the band. The band are wonderful. And I, I miss working with the band. In, in the United Kingdom... I, I do not work with the band very much. So um, I love to come to Brazil because I work with the band, with Gino, with Vini, with, with oh, just everybody. Um, and I love that. I love working with a live band on stage. So I miss that. I miss the enthusiasm of your audiences. They're, they're wonderful, wonderful audiences. Um, so yeah, I miss, I miss, and I, I miss Pau de Queijo. <laughs> uh, I'm from the state of Pão de Queijo, Minas Gerais. You already been here, Minas Gerais, you don't remember. Minas Gerais, yeah, yes. see, see. Here's yeah. the state of Pão de Queijo. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, wow. Oh, that's amazing. It's a, it's oh. a good, it's a good food, yes. Very uh, good food. And... Uh, do you think or do you record something in Portuguese? No, I many years ago I recorded Tiamo, yes. uh, which I, I sometimes sing. Uh, I recorded that in Spanish, but yes, not in Portuguese. You wait for it. Yeah. For you wait for, for, for this side, this moment. Well, maybe, perhaps, perhaps one, one day. You wait, you wait for this gift. In Portuguese. <laughs> that would and, be a surprise for the fans. <laughs> oh, super. And Haunted Heart was released now. And do you work in, uh, in other track? There's something new coming. There's a new album. See, see. Um, I... I, I, during the pandemic, I have been in the studio, um, and I've, I am, I am working on many more tracks for a possible album next year, a new album, uh, new musica next year. Good. So, uh, see, uh, so we we have. I think six, maybe seven tracks already uh, I have recorded my vocals, uh, but there are more to do. Good, so good. We, 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 we've, we're getting there, yeah. Um, we're waiting for, for this moment. We're waiting for that <laughs> brand new we, album. We, there are some good songs. We've, good. we've done some good songs. Written by the same, the same man, Gordon Pagoda. Um, many of the songs are, are written by him. So, 
yeah really really good uh, really looking forward to it um back in to the past 2000 do you sing in eurovision eurovision song contest see yes uh, yes Don't play that song again. In what experience, because you are holding the flag of England, you're, you are singing for, for UK and to, to, to the Queen. Of Tell course, me more. Of course. I, I love my country. So, I love so, your so. country too. too. <laughs> oh, obrigada. You, you have been to, to yes, England? Yes, I've been in England, England three years ago. I met... Oh! Uh, Golden Eye and Big Ben, the food, the pubs. I love the smell, I love the people, I love the music, especially. Oh, and wonderful! I will return. Where, where did you visit? Where did you visit in, 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 in the country? I, I just stayed in London. I was, I, I stay in Europe one, one month. I've I been in Ireland, Frankfurt, and my play my my count of heart but what what the experience it you still pick the 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 flowers from this this time um the uh, from eurovision you mean yes from eurovision oh i'm i'm uh, yeah i still i'm still very connected with everyone to do with eurovision um i loved it i i had so 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 much fun um we didn't do so well that year but i i still stay in contact and i i still do a lot with the eurovision song contest it, it's it holds a very special place in my heart yeah. um and so yeah i i do i do love the eurovision song yeah. contest and supporting your own country of course Yes. yes. Yeah. Representing my my own country was just a dream. It was wonderful, um, and not many people can say that. So you know, I'm very honoured that you know I could wave the flag, and 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 now people still remember it. Um, and that's 20 years. Oh, 20 years since <laughs> I did that. But uh, it, it just still feels like yesterday. And, and I, I still love it. Is, a, is a dream come true? For oh, yeah. a singer, is something that you can yeah. describe and you have this, this chance. And what do you think about the, the, the last uh, winner of the Eurovision? What do you think about the music, especially the music, the style? Uh, is something true? The last winner or the last un United Kingdom winner? The, the last, last years. I the think, last years. I think that, um, that there's one, there's one off. <laughs> oh, I forget yes. the name. Yes. I'm yes. not your toy. I'm not your toy, yes. What do you think um, about this movie? I think that that's something different. I don't know. I don't yeah, think that it, it, it works. Was, it was what we call a gimmick. Um, but, you know, it's, it's done her well. She's had a great career. Um, and every year, it's very different. It's, it, you know, every year the, the winner is something different. So the last winner from the Netherlands was a very serious song, you know, a very slow, very serious song. Um, and, and as you say, the year before was, was toy. Um, you know, every year there is something different. That's, that's the beauty of the Eurovision yes. Song Contest. You cannot predict what's going to what's going to do it you cannot predict what the people will choose you know you can try you can try and people often say oh that sounds like a eurovision song but now nowadays there is no such thing yeah and it's, the, it's, it's different from different styles yes it's, it's so different from 20 30 mm. years ago Absolutely. That's something more Absolutely. serious. And 
looking back at your career, if you can choose one song to sing in Eurovision, or there's one song that is so important to you, you can choose one, one music, one that I know that you love all your songs, but there's, there's one that is special for you. It would probably be just my favorite song that I have ever recorded, which is Did You Ever Really Love Me? I, I, I love, love song. this song too. Brazil, <laughs> loves. Brazil loves that song. That's why I love Brazil. <laughs> uh, this music was a huge success just here or in other country, Japan too? Uh, mainly, mainly in Brazil. Um, Uh, the United States, they liked it. Nice. Um, the United Kingdom, because we they put out a different mix, so it kind of didn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. um, but Brazil is the big place for that song. That, yes. it, it's wonderful. You mean a lot to us. It's different from other uh, singers, because you stay, you visit Brazil, you give uh, your hand, you give your voice, You you be oh, here, you stay here for I give a long my time. Heart. Yes, you you gave. <laughs> I definitely give my heart to yeah. Brazil, <laughs> and we hold it, we embrace it. Oh, I, I love you it. too. Yes. I really, really do. <laughs> It's good, and I think that your. I think I saw in the Facebook and Instagram, in other social media, that Brazil is sharing your new, brand new single, "Haunted Heart." Oh. Do you believe that? That style can can return to to be on the main stage on the. I hope so. I hope so. I, I it <clears throat> people always want something to dance to, to sing along to, um, just to 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 play and and you can do that with with haunted heart with with most of my songs. Um, so yeah, I I would I would say. Um, Yeah, I th I think people people want that easy to hear, easy to identify the tune type song. You know, you can you can have all your rap and you can have your I don't know drum and bass and and all the the modern sounds, but people always still want a decent good song with a tune and lyrics and something that they can link their lives to yes you know there there will be people looking at the lyrics of the song and thinking oh that's that's you know that resonates with me yes. that is so me um so people always need that um and especially and now this, in the pandemic time that we always oh, yes. looking back all oh, that time <laughs> that i used to go out and dance uh nick french and go to the club or every place yeah yeah and and i miss it too i miss going out and singing for people um and you know hopefully hopefully we will get through this sooner rather than later and and you know next year we will be able to return to, to the proper life that we were used to um and and you know hope that we can we can all come through it and and i can return to brazil and <laughs> see you all and I give you all so. a hug <laughs> <laughs> do you still to today do you do you are based in london or in um, what area just outside i am in um i'm in buckinghamshire which is uh sort of northwest um northwest of of london so um yeah it's, and what do you uh, think I, about the which way to to live the life do you still have the cup of tea at five or not <laughs> you you are the real bridge oh girl. i have cups of tea very very frequently i have cups of tea at, at sort of 7 a.m. and 7.30 <laughs> and 8 and 8.30 and oh I keep going with my cups of tea. <laughs> what what is your favorite food in in your country? Oh I think fish and chips. Oh good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it has to be fish
fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love this one. And if you return to your career, if you can choose one music, one song to cover, like you did with Total Eclipse of, of a Heart, you want, but you never did. There's one. It would be Last Dance by Donna Summer, I think. That's Wonderful. a great song. Wonderful I song. love Donna Summer too. Yep. Yeah. It's a good music. No one can sing like Donna Summer. <clears throat> She makes it sound easy. But uh, yeah, I love who, that song. Who knows perhaps, in the future? Perhaps one day. <laughs> who knows in the future? Because there's a long time that you didn't do a cover. Two, two years or more. Yeah, um, I, I'm not... I, I like to do original songs. You know? Yes, I, I, and we I like put, to. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I put some covers on each album. We, we usually put, you know, three or four covers uh, because some people do like them. But I like to, to try with new music. I like, I, like to, I like it to be my song, not someone else's song that I have covered. So, That's yeah, good. I like to, I like to sing... You know, I like people to cover mine. There you go. Yes. <laughs> I know in Brazil there are a, there are some singers who cover Nicky French songs, yes. which is wonderful. Yes. It's such a, such a it's so flattering. You know, I feel very very humbled that people do that. So yes. Yeah. In YouTube channel, I post your picture and I ask from some 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 question to you. Okay. Okay. É, Aparecido José da Costa, Nick French is wonderful. We waited for you. Oh, well, muito obrigada, and and I I I look forward to returning. I so look forward to returning. I want to be back in Brazil. É, André Lana asked to you, and uh, the first album secret, uh, the original version was something like pop. Uh, slowly or romantic, something like that. But the remix was a huge success. At the beginning, was uh, slowly, or do you have this this vision to be in the dance floor? No, I my my original plan to uh, when I first decided to be a singer or wanted to be a singer. I, I, I love ballads. I love the slow songs. Yes. I mm -hmm. love putting so much emotion in. Uh, so I never planned to be a dance music artist at all. Uh, so I'm, I'm lucky that it seems to work. But um, no, I, I love doing the ballads. I, I love doing those. And, and particularly when I'm singing live in a show, Uh, the fast songs are the ones that get people going. You know, it's 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 wonderful. You know, yes. seeing people dancing, singing, everything. Um, yeah, that that means a lot. So, um, you know, in a club or or um, in a in a big venue, the the fast dancey ones are the ones that get people going. So they're great. I love doing those. And the musical talent. Is in your vein, is in your <laughs> DNA, because your father, your mother, and your brother. Yes, yes. Is in the music. my brother is my brother is so so talented, incredibly talented, um, and yeah. So so, mum and dad were both they they both had a musical ear, um, and then my brother Tim and I kind of took that on. My two sisters, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> And do you are now uh, in a, in a theater? I work in theater now, of course. How yes. it begins? Uh, well, it started in um, really with uh, shows in the United Kingdom called Pantomime at Christmas. With, yes. with, very weird. It's, it's not easy to explain. <laughs> um, But uh, I, I, I try to do pantomime every year and it's great fun. I have a lovely time. But more recently, I have been working on some musical shows, um, acting, singing, a little bit of dancing. Um, 
but uh, but I get through. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm really really enjoying that. I'm enjoying the the doing the musicals. But I was I was in a theatre show when we had to stop because of COVID. So uh, we hope to return in February March. Um, to the theatre shows, and uh, I, I really look forward to that. Is based in London? Um, or no, is based, uh, the tour? Um, touring, touring. Touring, good. Yeah, different, different shows every night, different theatres every night. Good. And um, move, t move TV or soap opera, you never record nothing. Or do I'd you have love something? to do TV. I'd love to do TV, but uh, no, they seem to want the young people now. So no. uh, I, I, I still <laughs> hold out hope, but uh, yeah. there's a yeah. long way to, to go. There's a long way to, to work. Yeah. We, we will see Nick French with new singles on TV. I hope so, especially in so. theatre. When you go to... I, uh, to Europe, you can look for uh, the dates that Nick French is on the theater and go watch the... Yeah, the, 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 yeah. The, um, hopefully, yes. If the theater run, run comes back, then yes. Next, I, I, next year, yeah, we hope people so. People will be able to find me, yes. yes. <laughs> and Nick French, I, I want to thank you to this moment I, I, I hope it is the first interview from others. Who knows next year or your next concert in Brazil, we can talk tete a tete. I hope so too. And, I and to, also I, regard I, to, to you um, for, for the interview and for wonderful English. Congratulations mm. on your fantastic <laughs> English. Parabéns. Um, <laughs> honestly, absolutely brilliant. I would not be able to speak <laughs> in Portuguese to you. So it's hard, um, but we try. I it. No, you uh, can superb. And I and I cannot go away before you leave a message for your Brazilian fans. Oh, to everyone in Brazil. From the bottom of my heart, I love you and I thank you so much for your support. Te amo. We love you too. And <laughs> you can sing for us or is, uh, I have to ask to Matt or to oh. your record label. Just no, a little bit. You, no, uh, you, no to, to come over for shows. Uh, see, you, you, you write to, to Matt. See. But now, in this interview... Oh, for now? Uh, now? No, you just ask me. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I really want everything, but I have to choose a few. Uh, I, I, I think that... Did you ever really love me? Although I was naive, I wasn't half so blind as to believe in all the lies you told to me. But there is just one thing I need to know before you turn to go. Sing it with me. Did, Did you, you ever, ever really love me? Did you ever really love me? <laughs> Did you ever really love me? <laughs> I love this song. I can ask one more. Nope. Oh. Is there anybody out there? Ah, oh, of course. Is there anybody out there who can rescue me? Must be somebody somewhere who can set me free. Is there anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> Next concert, Wonderful. you can call me for the backing <laughs> vocals. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I can be, I can be a desert too. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, you can. I can't. <laughs> uh, yes, and the last one, "Haunted Heart," this uh -huh, brilliant yes. single, okay. and we <laughs> waited for more. But now we will enjoy, listen this one. Okay. You left me with a haunted heart 
the ghost of what we had has left a scar for all the times you promised me your honesty i never heard your lies <laughs> thank you i wasn't expecting to be asked to sing those so i do apologize <laughs> thank but, you uh, perfect uh, thank you. your your voice is perfect there's oh. no there's no warm up warm There was no warm-up at all. <laughs> yeah. Quem sabe faz ao vivo. Who knows? Do it live. I'll do it live. I'm doing it live. Yeah. I'll be over there and I will sing more songs for you completely live. Good. And I look forward to being over there. I cannot wait to get on that flight one day. Hopefully very soon. You. We're waiting for you. Thank you, Nick. Thank you very uh, much. Obrigada, Eric. I, I and and to everybody watching, I, I'm I love you all in Brazil, and I I really hope that I can get back over there and we can have fun with some shows. And uh, yeah, everybody stay safe. Just stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you. Hopefully, maybe next year. Let's let's pray and yes. and hope. Thank you. E é isso, se você gostou da entrevista, deixa seu like. Quero aproveitar e agradecer também Jorge Luiz, o JLC, ele que é inscrito no canal e já é meu amigo de longa data. Ele me presenteou com essas duas pérolas que faltavam na minha coleção, Gotcha e também Mr. Jam. E se você tem um CD em duplicidade ou quer dispor dos seus CDs, Tô aqui, viu? Então, muito obrigado, Jorge. Obrigado também pelo apoio lá no Apoia-se. E é isso, esse apoio faz toda a diferença. Eu não posso deixar de agradecer também Daniel Dinelli, ele que ajudou nas traduções. Daniel Dinelli, além de parceiro do canal Som do Cassete e apoiador, também tem um super canal. Vou deixar aqui em cima o link do canal dele. Você vai lá, principalmente você que gosta dessas décadas passadas e também é colecionador, hein? Clique aqui. E eu vou deixar também na descrição mais informações sobre o canal e o Instagram do Daniel Dinelli. Valeu demais, irmão! Eu fico por aqui até o próximo vídeo do canal O Som do Cassete. <música>